Let's talk to Phil Robertson, who's uh, the Deputy Director of Human Rights Watch Asia Division and joins us now from Cambodia's capital, Phnom Penh. Uh, Phil Robertson, what is HRW most worried about uh, in what's going on in Cambodia? We've seen the destruction of democracy. Uh, a party, the CNRP, which won 44 percent of the vote in the 2017 elections, is not allowed to contest. And instead, uh, you have the CPP uh, prepared to win a massive victory over uh, 19 uh, parties that no one knows anything about. Um, it, it is a destruction of democracy, uh, plain and simple. The EU, the United States and Japan have all declined to uh, send uh, official election uh, observers to monitor uh, this election. Wouldn't it have been better to send observers despite all the problems you talk about in this election? Well, the problem is it's not going to be a genuine election if you don't have the opposition party allowed to compete. They were dissolved by a court decision uh, that claimed that they were involved in a color revolution against the uh, government. In reality, the government didn't want to run against them because they thought they might lose. Uh, so no matter how you observe it, you know, you're still not going to have a credible election because the opposition that uh, most of the people voted for last time around in, in terms of, uh, you know, 44 percent of Cambodians do, is not is not allowed to exist. Cambodia received billions and billions of dollars uh, in aid to help rebuild the country uh, after the devastation uh, uh, left by the Khmer Rouge in the 1970s. It's all essentially been in vain, hasn't it? I think that there's certainly been an improvement in issues of development, uh, but we've not seen corresponding improvements in human rights. Uh, Hun Sen is still uh, now presiding over a government that uh, has total impunity and abuse human rights. He has complete control over the military, he has complete control over the courts. Uh, this is a rubber stamp election. Uh, he wants credentials to say that he's a democratically elected leader, but he's not prepared to risk possibly losing to a, another party. And uh, that's the reality of it. Uh, you know, the problem is that the international community has done very little uh, to demand that he play by the rules of democracy and human rights. Uh, they've missed a big opportunity here, and now it's going to back to the Cambodian people to deal with an increasingly dictatorial government going forward. How should the international community respond after this election result is declared? We believe that the uh, international community should be considering sanctions uh, on specifically targeted individuals at the top levels of this government uh, on the basis of uh, human rights abuses and corruption. Uh, I think it's also very likely that the European Union will initiate an investigation on the everything but arms trade uh, provisions uh, based on the uh, assumption that the Cambodia has violated those human rights provisions in that treaty. Uh, and that, I think, is a correct assessment. So uh, there's going to be increased international pressure on Cambodia to release political prisoners, to, uh, you know, revoke rights abusing laws and to allow for the opposition party to return uh, and to compete in a, in a future election. Phil Robertson from Human Rights Watch, thank you.